Every now and again, we get a game trailer that looks incredible on the surface, but then when we dive into the information about the game, we realize that not everything is as it seems to be. I covered a game last year called Arena Breakout, where the trailer for the game was this gritty extraction battle with realistic depictions of combat, and I was super psyched until we realized that it was a mobile title. It is a Chinese mobile game. Now, a lot of the comments on that video wrote the game off completely. Truth is, most people don't like playing FPS games on mobile because it's a pain in the ass. Now, if it's short little burst rounds that you can play while taking a sh great, easy mode. But when you're strapped into a raid for potentially 30 minutes, playing with terrible touchscreen controls and a plethora of menus and screens to hop through, it's probably not going to be fun. Arena Breakout is currently in alpha testing on iOS and Android, and I got to play it. And it's fucking fun. I don't know what's going on, but good lord, it's actually a well put together mobile game. Now the touchscreen controls are terrible, and I find that I can only play a raid or two before I'm ready to retire, but there's something about it that keeps bringing me back. Even more so than a game like Lost Light, which people called at the time the Tarkov mobile experience. After playing Arena Breakout, Lost Light is like the cousin to Tarkov. Arena Breakout is the younger sibling. It's not exactly as poised as the more mature Tarkov, but it's getting there. I mean, it has a lot of the things that Tarkov has. Raids, inventory, different backpacks, vests, different ammo types, things like 556, 762, packing mags, leaning, proning, scav runs, a shit ton of different weapons. Like, it's a fully functioning extraction shooter that is marred by its terrible platform simply due to the way that it handles. If I could play this game on a Switch or a Steam Deck, I think I'd actually have a really great time with it. I'm actually sitting here debating whether or not to pick up one of those controllers that plug into my iPhone. I want to play this game with better controls than what is currently offered on the touchscreen. That's why I hate mobile gaming, and that's why every time these games come out, I always want to play them on things like Bluestacks, which might be an option, but at the same time, if I'm playing an extraction shooter that's like Tarkov on PC mobile emulated, I might as well just play Tarkov. But if you're on the go, traveling, staying over night somewhere you don't have access to your switch i could actually see this game being a pretty big thing in the future and i hate it because we're getting to a point now where mobile games even though the controls and even though the graphics aren't up to par with things like pc and consoles mobile games are bringing us the experiences that we actually want to see on these other platforms there's so many people that want to see a tarkov like Tarkov light experience arena breakout is that only it's on a platform that just sucks to game for long hours on again If I could play this on a steam deck or on a switch holy shit I think that would be insane I keep thinking about going back and booting it up and playing it and then I do I play a raid or two And then I'm like, oh fuck. I hate I hate touchscreen controls I put it down and then that's all I think about it's like I could probably do another raid Do I just live with I I, I can't I can't get over the fact that I have to aim by dragging my thumbs on the screen. I just can't. I think it's stupid. It plays like dog shit, but I know with a better controller, it would play way better. Now, the one facet of mobile gaming that I hate, I've already talked about, is the controls. The other facet, it's a two-pronged fuck stick, and that's the monetization model. We have to wonder what this is going to look like in the future and why these developers opted to make something for mobile devices especially coming out of china this thing is going to be monetized to all f now right now we're in beta testing so we don't actually know what it's going to look like but i'm sitting here wondering if they're eventually going to sell weapons ammo grenades and armor for real currency people have already complained about like the edge of darkness edition for tarkov being a pay to win style system i can't even imagine Imagine what it looks like for a traditional mobile experience and I'm sitting here I'm like the game itself like as a piece of software is built very well It has a lot of features that a lot of people actually want to see in a game like this a game for extraction shooter fans Who like Tarkov but don't like Tarkov if that makes sense, but it's on mobile it controls like shit, and we don't know their monetization practices How do you be excited 
for something like this. At the same time, it's on my phone. I'm in the test flight testing for it, and I've been playing it off and on here for the past couple of weeks, and I've actually been enjoying it. Is it a mainstay game? Absolutely not. But I would much rather play a game like this over something like an idler game where you just basically have no control over anything. Now, I did just recently get a Steam Deck. I sold a bunch of CSGO cases that I had from like eight years ago. And after using the Steam Deck, I want to see Arena Breakout hit Steam or hit somewhere where I can emulate it on that console because that would just make the game feel so much better, especially with the touchscreen controls for going through things like inventory, but then actually being able to shoot using the triggers and the joysticks for movement and aiming it would just be a much better experience and i hope that one day we'll be able to see that happen until then it's 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 still just kind of a mobile game that i know most people won't care about better than i expected but i knew that it would fail in the areas that i just know every mobile game would for me it's technically not a symptom of arena breakout it's just a matter of you chose a platform i'm not a fan of get me one of those backbones or, or like a, a razor whatever the hell they're called and let me plug it into my phone and maybe it'll play better until that point i just can't do shooters on a touch screen if you guys do want to sign up for arena breakout you can do it on android and ios go to their website i'll have it linked down below funnily enough just based on my analytical research on my channel a lot of you guys have been searching for arena breakout so uh, apparently there's a lot of fans of mobile shooters on this channel never would have guessed it if you guys end up liking the video leave a like on it and subscribe for fps content from the triple a to the indie and uh, maybe to the mobile we'll see what happens my name is big fry thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one